beginning with you Aries so we you know we started the day with in Western astrology moon in Taurus if you're watching this Friday and or, or even Thursday if it came on a little early so like dealing with money and those type of things that's important if you're a Friday viewer moons in Critica but we're just kind of finishing things off so it's a good time to kind of drive out the evil and um, celebrate what was good what you've done help others help children help you know, mentor people. Okay, we get to this new moon. And it's about, it's a celebration about nurturing. It's a celebration of beauty. It's a celebration of women. <clears throat> and I mean really good women that are really beautiful. <laughs> and, um, oh, well, every woman's beautiful. Well, you know, and every man's handsome. And every woman's a goddess and every man's a god. I mean, we have to stop playing these silly games with each other. We're all humans, and somehow we ended up in a body that has, you know, gender things attached to it and stuff, and that's fine. You know, as long as nobody's hurting each other. So just don't anybody hurt each other, and we'll be good. <laughs> and Aries, you know about that. So now, you know, your, your own passion, your own sense of power seems to somewhat be owned by someone else, but it's still intensified. Mars and Scorpio. So the thing is, let go of the need to be in power. Ask for help when you need it. Round up the good people in your life to help you and support you. And um, you're going to move forward. You know, you're going to change the way you communicate with this new moon. You're going to change the way you relate to your neighbors. Maybe start keeping a journal, um, improving your communication and your own education, the way you relay information, the way you work with your hands. All these things. That's what this new moon's about. Go for it. <clears throat> okay, 